Hello guys, ito na nga ang aking next math video lessons. At uh, dito nga itatalakayin ko ang module 7A ng General Mathematics. Ito ang Solving Rational Equations. Magpatuloy lang sa panunood. Ito ay simple, detalyado at tiyak inyong maintindihan. At sa pag-solve nga ng Rational Equations, meron tayo mga steps na gagawin. Step 1, find the LCD or least common denominator. Step 2, multiply each side of the equation by the LCD and simplify. Step 3, solve the resulting equation. And step 4, check the solution or solutions with the original equations. Bakit kailangan pang gamitin ang apat na steps na yan? Eh pwede namang hindi. Tama, pwede nga yun. Pero sabi nga abang nag-aaral tayo para sigurado tayo matututo ay gamitin yan. Sabi nga, slowly but surely. Tuloy-tuloy na tayo. Magtalakay na tayo ng mga example. Example 1, solve the rational equation 1 over 7x equals negative 1 third. Step 1. Since the denominators are 7 and 3, the LCD is 21. Step 2. Multiply the LCD 21 to both sides of the equation. So we have 21 multiplied to 1 over 7x equals 21 times negative 1 third. On the left side of the equation, we can cancel 21 and 7. Common divisor is 7. So we have remaining 3 on the numerator. On the right side, we can also cancel 21 and 3. 7 is the common divisor, so we remain 7 on the numerator. On step 3, write the remaining equation which is 3x equals negative 7. Next is to eliminate the coefficient 3, so we will divide both sides of the equation by 3. Then, we will cancel 3 on the left side of the equation. And step 4, state your answer which is x is equal to negative 7 thirds or 7 over 3. At nasolve na nga natin ang unang rational equations. Sabi ko nga, gamitin ang step para maigay tayo kung ano ang sunod-sunod na ating gagawin. Tuloy-tuloy na tayo sa ating pangalawang example. Solve the rational equation x minus 7 all over x plus 5 equals 17 over 5. Again, since our denominators are x plus 5 and 5, our LCD is 5 quantity x plus 5. And that LCD will be multiplied to both sides of the equations. So we have 5 quantity x plus 5 quantity x minus 7 all over x plus 5 equals 5 quantity x plus 5 quantity 17 over 5. Let us continue sa kaliwa. Cancel natin sa x plus 5. Ang natira 5 quantity x minus 7. Sa kanan naman, cancel natin si 5. Ang natira 17 and x plus 5 or 17 quantity x plus 5. Next, ay remove natin ang parenthesis on both sides of the equation. 5 times x is equal to 5x. And 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. On the right side of the equation, 17 times x is 17x. And 17 times 5 is 85. After removing parentheses, combining like terms tayo. Combine natin si 5x at saka 17x at si 35 naman at saka si 85 on opposite sides of the equation. Then, 5x minus 17x is negative 12x. 85 plus 35 is 120. Sunod ay i-remove natin si negative 12 as coefficient. So, divide both sides by negative 12. Negative 12x, cancel. And negative 120 divided by negative 12 is negative 10. Tapos na tayong mag-solve. Tapos na rin tayo sa step 10. At sa step 4, state na natin ang ating final answer. Therefore, x is equal to negative 10. Ito rin lang kayo sa panunood. Magtalakay tayo ng pangatong example para inyo pang mas lubusang maintindihan. Solve the rational equation 1 over 2x plus 1 minus 4 over x minus 1 equals 3 over 2x squared minus x minus 1. Sa mga denominators, napansin natin na yung pangatlong denominator, 2x squared minus x minus 1 ay factorable. Kaya atin muna siyang ipapaktor bago natin kunin ang kanyang LCD. 
at ang factors na ng 2x squared minus x minus 1 ay 2x, quantity 2x plus 1, quantity x minus 1. And after factoring, saka natin malalaman na ang LCD pala ay quantity 2x plus 1 and quantity x minus 1. At imumultiply na nga natin yung LCD. Kaya sa step 2, meron tayong equation na quantity 2x plus 1, quantity x minus 1, quantity 1 over 2x plus 1 minus 4, x plus 1 equals quantity 3, 2x over 2x squared minus x minus 1, quantity 2x plus 1, quantity x minus 1. Magpatuloy tayo sa pag-simplify. Sa left side, cancel natin ang 2x plus 1. May natira tayong x minus 1 times 1, so x minus 1. Pwede rin natin i-cancel si x minus 1. Ang hindi na-cancel sa pangalawa ay si 2x plus 1 at saka si 4. So meron tayong negative 4, quantity 2x plus 1. Sa right side naman, cancel natin si 2x plus 1 at saka si x minus 1. Ang natira lang ay 3. Kaya ang equation natin sa step 3 ay quantity x minus 1 minus 4, quantity 2x plus 1 equals 3. Ngayon naman, simplify natin ang parenthesis using distributive property. Negative 4 times 2x equals negative 8x. And negative 4 times 1 equals negative 4. Dahil wala ng parenthesis, magpatuloy tayo sa pag-simplify, i-combine natin ang like terms. So, meron tayong 8 minus 8x minus 1 minus 4 equals 3. I-add na natin ang mga like terms, x minus 8x equals negative 7x, negative 1, negative 4 equals negative 5. So, meron tayong negative 7x minus 5 equals 3. Transpose natin sa negative 5 sa kanan, mayiging plus 5. So, meron tayong negative 7x equals 3 plus 5. I-add natin ang 3 plus 5 equals 8. So, meron tayong negative 7x equals 8. I-divide natin both sides ng negative 7. So, meron tayong x equals negative 8 over 7. At yan na nga ang ating value ng x. At yan na rin ang ating sagot sa step 4. At muli, kung natuto ka sa video na ito at bago ka lang sa aking channel, please subscribe para tuloy-tuloy lang aking pagtuturo, tuloy-tuloy lang iyong panonood at tuloy-tuloy din ang iyong pagkakatuto.